Good evening to you. I'm Tom Zisco. We're glad to have you with us. We begin with the city of Houston's next mayor. State Senator John Whitmire has been elected to lead the city after today's runoff election. Whitmire represented the city of Houston for 50 years through state government. 74-year-old defeated Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee to take control of the fourth largest city in America. You see the vote totals thus far still being counted. Shelby Rose is live from the George R. Brown Convention Center tonight where the mayor-elect spoke not long ago. Shelby. Hey, good evening. Yeah, it was just a little over an hour ago when we first heard from Mayor-elect John Whitmire, and he's still here at the George R. Brown, greeting his supporters, shaking hands, and taking photos. It was about 9 o'clock when he took the stage, alongside his two daughters and grandsons, as well as a couple call, former, now former, colleagues of his, Representative Sylvia Garcia and Senator Carol Alvarado. Now, when it was his turn to take to the mic, he... he thanked a long list of people, including his family and friends, his staff members, and everyone that helped him get to be the mayor of Houston. Now, he also reiterated the fact that he believes that we live in a great city, while also admitting that there is work to be done, saying, quote, the first way to solve your problem is to admit you have one. Great cities solve their problems. We will make this a safer city. We will do it by recruiting more officers, supporting the officers we have, the coalition building with other agencies. Our infrastructure will be repaired and fixed, not only streets, but water. Great cities do not boil their water for two days. Together, we can solve our problems. And we also had the chance to speak with Houston Police Chief Troy Finner, who was in the room tonight. And we did ask him how he feels about Mayor-elect Whitmire now being the person to run the city. He acknowledges that Whitmire does have a lot of respect, while adding that it's important that everyone works together. Now, on the other side, my colleague Sherman DeSell is over at the campaign party for Sheila Jackson-Lee, who also spoke with her supporters not too long ago. Sherman, what she had to say.